Thanks for joining me on episode 1109 of the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Jocelyn. From the Family Life Movement Podcast. We challenge you to find a way to balance your work and your family. And one way to be inspired to do that is to listen to this. The Inspired Stewardship Podcast by my friend Scott Mater is that idea of choosing to make something important to you and letting it be vulnerable to others because trust at the end of the day is built on vulnerability. It is taking risk. And if you're not willing to take risk, then you're never willing to trust. Welcome and thank you for joining us on the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. If you truly desire to become the person who God wants you to be, then you must learn to use your time, your talent, and your treasures for your true calling. In the Inspired Stewardship Podcast, you will learn to invest in yourself, invest in others, and develop your influence so that you can impact the world. In today's episode about developing your influence through stewarding your talent, I talk with you about why it's hard to trust others sometimes. I share six reasons we don't trust others, And I talk about why the sixth one is one we often overlook. You've heard me talk about developing your talent. And one of the best ways to do that is through books. But if you're like most people today, it's hard to find the time to read. And that's why today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Go to inspiredstewardship.com slash audible to sign up and you can get a 30 day free trial. There's over 180,000 titles to choose from, and you can pick one and listen your way to developing your talents via Audible. That's inspiredstewardship.com slash Audible to get your free trial and listen to great books the same way you're listening to this podcast. I hear a lot from people about how I'll never trust anyone again. When something's gone wrong, how that means that it's time to just stop trusting others. And I wanted to talk a little bit about why it seems like it's so hard at times to trust people. Like we talked about yesterday, trust is that idea of risking ourselves and depending upon what someone else does or says or how they act. It's putting ourselves at risk for someone else. And if you think about it, trust is a always about a relationship between people. And what how we learn and know what to expect from our relationships comes often from our history and our experiences. It comes from how our past relationships have been, what boundaries and limitations and actions. And in fact, whether or not we trust ourselves comes from that as well. We often look to ourselves and say, we know ourselves, we'll label ourselves, we're worthy or worthless, we're shy or outgoing, we're lazy or dedicated or directed or driven or good or bad, we'll label ourselves with things that we say are true of ourselves. And that means when something goes wrong, we often look to ourselves as the reason why. When we break our own boundaries, when we do something out of alignment with what we think we are, then we have trust issues with ourselves. See, the truth is we often struggle with trust because we have this belief that, number one, what goes around comes around, this idea of karma and payback. And because of that, we often feel like we don't get the trust we deserve, and then we don't give that trust to others as well. We often don't worry about trust because we believe we do a good job and people should trust us, but we then turn around and think that others aren't trustworthy. We act in a way that our words don't align with our actions. We say we believe something, but then we don't act as if we believe it. We say that family is important, but we don't spend time or energy or effort with our our family. We look and do things in a blanket way where we (laughs) lump people together in groups. We treat everyone the way that group is. We stereotype people into certain actions. 
And I think we all misunderstand what trust really is. And oftentimes when we're talking about trust, we're actually talking about different things. Brene Brown talks about having boundaries. She actually uses the acronym BRAVING, and she talks about having boundaries, having reliability, having accountability, having what she calls a vault, integrity, non-judgment, and generosity as a way of trust. But the idea of you have to be clear about what your boundaries are. You have to actually walk the walk, be reliable, say what you mean and mean what you say and do what actually you say you're going to be able to do. You have to be willing to hold yourself and others accountable. The vault was an interesting one. It's about basically making sure that it, we're not sharing information about others that they perhaps don't want shared. Having integrity is important as well. Not just doing what's fun, fast, or easy, but actually being willing to do the hard things. Looking at others with non-judgment or generosity are the last two, the idea of doing that. Because the truth is, I think when we look at trust, at the end of the day, that overlooked sixth thing, other than the five I talked about earlier, is that idea of choosing to make something important to you and letting it be vulnerable to others. Because tr trust at the end of the day is built on vulnerability. It is taking risk. And if you're not willing to take risk, then you're never willing to trust. Thanks for listening. Thanks so much for listening to the Inspired Stewardship Podcast. As a subscriber and listener, we challenge you to not just sit back and passively listen, but act on what you've heard and find a way to live your calling. If you like this episode on the stewardship of talent, you can go over to inspiredstewardship.com slash talent and sign up for our five-week series on the stewardship of talent. Or if you're in the U.S., you can text 44222 talent tips. That's talent tips to 44222 and get those tips. Until next time, invest your time, your talent, and your treasures. Develop your influence and impact the world.